goes on to say, an evil man says evil things. These come from the evil that is put away in his heart. So if you're someone who says bad things on a regular basis, you say bad things to your mom or dad, or you say bad things to your husband or your wife or your boss at work, you know why it is? It's because there's evil in your heart. And I know you're thinking, well, man, I'm not evil. It's, It's not me. That's what God's word says. That's the kind of things that you're putting inside of your heart because what's in the heart will eventually come out of the mouth. And it says that. It says their mouths say everything that is in their heart. So if you've got good stuff in your heart this morning, good stuff is going to come out of your mouth. If you've got evil in your heart and sin, guess what? Evil is going to come out of your mouth and, and affect the people around you. For those of you last week who were here for the message and you got the blue bracelet and you took, you're taking the search me challenge and you're praying that for 30 days, this is probably the top one or two area in which God is going to hammer you if you honestly pray this prayer over the next 30 days. It's that point where we stop and say, God, just reveal to us what's in our heart. And what's going to be revealed is the way you affect your relationship with your words. Here's the thing. Hugs, guys in here, husbands, fathers, if you're here and you treat your wife like garbage, don't wonder why your kids treat her like garbage. They'll do what you do. They'll say the same things you say. And they'll say it the same way you say it. So if you tell her to do things, if you're disrespectful toward her, if you put her down, your kids will do the same thing and they'll have the exact lack of respect for her that you do. Now, if you build her up, if you give her positive affirmation, if you encourage her, guess what? Your kids will do that. Not only will they do that with her, they'll do that in their relationships when they grow up. And that's what you want. You want to build that, but it comes from what's inside the heart. So you have to be careful what you say because our speech reveals our heart. And lastly, this morning, it's this. Our speech, we need to control our tongue this morning because our tongue, it glorifies God. And that's the purpose of our speech today. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath. So what's your job? Your job essentially is a worshiper. Your job is not to put people down. Your job is never to be negative. Your job is to be positive. Your job is to lift up and to encourage who? Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's worthy of our praise. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. It goes on to say in Psalm 119, 172, May my tongue sing about your word, because all of your commands are right. So why should I praise God? Because everything he's ever done is right. God has never done anything that's wrong. God has never done anything that's negative. God has never uh, not been positive and put encouragement into people's lives and in people's hearts. And that's what we need to do. You see, your job is as a worshiper. It's to glorify God with your mouth and with your words and with your attitude and with your life and every single thing that that you do. Your praises were meant for God. Your words, every word out of your mouth should praise God. If not, you're stealing from God. Now you're like, well, that's a little extreme. Well, actually, it's not. If you think of it like this, if you think, let's say every week the kids get C3 bucks, right? It's kind of cool because at the end they get them for, for learning their lessons and or for learning their memory verses, which the kids work hard on that all week because they get rewarded and they want to know about God. They get it for, for other things in there as well. But let's say God had a pretty cool stash of C3 books. Now, there's a helicopter in the back that I've been begging Eli to save up for, right? Because I really think he'll enjoy it, right? Um, what? It's like 270,000 C3 bucks. And I'm like, Eli, just save, save your money, buddy. And one day, you know, you'll have this helicopter and, you know, daddy would be happy to show you how it works and to play with you. And, you know, you'll just have so much fun with it. And let's say that God had this impressive stash of C3 bucks. God had 265. So God is right there. Um, and I'm like, why is God in children's ministry? So I'm like, just stay with the sleep. That's fine. But God has 265, right? He needs five more, five, 5,000 C3 bucks. Well, you see God's C3 bucks, right? And you go over and you take them and you steal about 30,000 C3 bucks from God and you put it in your pocket, right? When God's not looking, because there's always times when God's not looking, right? But anyway, you steal from God. Now you're like, well, that's a little absurd. Who would steal from God? You do every time negativity comes out of your mouth. Because the words 
that you speak, they belong to Him and they should be words of praise. Our speech today glorifies God. That is your purpose in life, is to glorify God. Your tongue is very powerful. Some of you, to be honest, this week, your parents have asked you to do things and you've answered them very disrespectfully. For some of you, husbands, this week, you spoke in a very demeaning tone towards your wife. Wives, some of you here, you spent your entire week or part of your week putting down your husband. Did any of that glorify God? No. So are you meeting the requirements for serving and loving God? No, not even close. The words that we speak need to be words of encouragement. We need to make sure that we're training our tongue. Why? Because your tongue has the power of life and death. Those who love to talk will eat.